G'day, beer lovers. Yeah, Joe Roll, mate, again here. VB Ed. G'day, beer lovers. Today I want to talk about money. I think I've thought about money a lot in my life. And I, what I try to do is I'm trying to understand what the hell it is. What is it? Is it something solid? Can you measure it? Is it something flaky and just made up? You know, does it really exist? You know, a lot of people have got their different theories about it. You know, money these days is a lot different from the way it used to be, you know, hundreds and thousands of years ago. You know, it's got a totally different meaning to it now. So, the best way to explain what money is, is to express it in an analogy. And this analogy was expressed to me uh, probably about six or seven years ago by a bloke that I used to work with. He was an elderly gentleman. And he said to me, if you can understand this, you can understand what money is. Okay, I said, you know, at the time, I said, yeah, tell me, tell me the story. Okay, he said, let's do, let's do this. Let's say I'm traveling in the country and I need to stay somewhere. Okay, I give 50 bucks to the hotel, hotel owner of a town. Okay, and he charged me 50 bucks. And let's say this hotel owner had a debt owing. He owed the butcher shop. You know, he'd buy, he'd buy his meat from there for the hotel. Let's say he then paid $50 off his account there. Okay, so he paid a bit of his bill off. And let's just say the butcher shop has an outstanding account as well with a farmer for the bloody meat. Okay. So once he gets my 50 bucks, the 50 bucks goes against his account with the farmer. So my, you can see my $50 note is starting to float around. Now let's just say that the farmer has an outstanding debt with the prostitute that lives in the town, the madam. He owes her 50 bucks. Okay, so probably owes them all. Okay, so he uses my 50 bucks again, pays his account off with the prostitute. And this is where it all gets interesting. Let's say the prostitute owes the hotel owner 50 bucks. Where You know, the place where I'm staying. Maybe she's been using the rooms there. Okay. She owes him 50 bucks. So the 50 bucks has gone back to the hotel owner. He's now got the 50 bucks that I gave him. It's now gone around the circle. Everyone's got paid. And let's just say that I don't like this fucking town at all. Oh, fuck. It's a, and I don't like the hotel. I, and I'd say to myself, OK, I'm going to drive up to the next town and stay there instead. So the hotel owner gives me my 50 bucks back. <laughs> OK? I leave town with my 50 bucks. Didn't even leave it behind. But I left behind a very happy town. Because everyone paid their accounts off. How does that work? Hey, just before I go, I need to give a plug to someone, okay? Now, I don't no normally do shout outs in this sort of style, okay? So, it's just that a mate has asked me for a great Aussie favour, okay? Okay, I'm going to refer you to a channel called Body and Zen. Now, this guy is brand new on YouTube. He's got big plans for the future as to what he wants to do. He's only got a handful of videos up at the moment, but he's explained to me what he wants to do, you know, so I know that he's going to be making a lot of videos on how to make things using household products. He's also a bit of a new ager, okay, he's got a lot of spiritual philosophy that he wants to share with you. Um, you know, so me and him are sort of kindred spirits there, yeah, I'm a bit that way. Okay, so the channel is called Body and Zen and the link to that is in the beer box below and just check out one of his videos. Okay. The guy that uh, asked me for that great Aussie favour, you owe me.